What do you do if your parrot has cage aggression? Ah! What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> and why is Kailani so loud? Hey guys, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Purpless Bond. Please be sure to get your copy on Amazon. I have over 20 species of parrots. I love my parrots. They're my bliss. If you know Kailani, you're probably used to hanging out. Thank you for hanging out. I love you guys. Let's get started. All right, so cage aggression, um, you know, it, what it means is that when you put your hand in your parrot's cage, someone had asked about this, um, they no like it and they bite at you. A couple of the things that are going on is number one, this is my territory. Don't come near it. I wanna feel safe and if your hand is in here, I don't feel safe. That's one thing that's happening. Um, another thing that could be happening is sometimes when a parrot has cage Hi, aggression. Hi, Hi, Kailani. Do you see yourself? Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Hi, Kailani. Oh, is that another macaw? Or is that you? Wow. Wow. I don't think she's ever seen herself in my camera before. Wow, who is that? Is that a pretty macaw? <laughs> okay, so the other thing that may be going on is that your parrot has, uh, even if they're young, some, <coughs> some sort of, um, not necessarily abuse, it may be abuse, but just <coughs> mistreatment, which may not be intentional. The mistreatment could be that whoever raised them wasn't nice, but it could also simply be that the siblings picked on him or her um, and they're used to having to defend themselves. So it may be like from an innocuous um, experience, it may be a innocuous experience, who knows? But um, basically <laughs> they're, they're really defensive. So one of the things that you need to do is you need to try, what are you gonna do? She's licking the camera, licking, licking the camera. <laughs> wow. Total cool interruption. How's the camera? Does it taste good? Yeah. Oh, are you done? Can I continue? So one of the things you need to try to do is to change their perception. Your parrot perceives that they are basically unsafe or that they have to defend themselves. This can take time. Um, one of the things you can do is just give it a year uh, and don't worry about it. Um, I recommend having two cages. Come here, you wanna get back in the video? Come here. So that one cage can be taken away and washed. The other cage is clean and can be given to the bird. It, um, if you have a hard time getting the bird out, I mean, hopefully you could just open the door. If not, I really recommend working on some target <laughs> training. Come here. So that, good girl. Here you go. There you go. Um, so that your parrot has something to come out for and starts to have a different experience of you. If your parrot has something like the cage aggression, it's a really good idea to do some of that training. It helps you establish some common ground. Yeah, look at that. There's some, yeah, there's some coloring on my shirt, huh? Um, helps you establish uh, a common language. And that's really imperative if you're having problems like that. Let's eat the camera some more. She's licking the macaw, I think, in the picture. <laughs> Experiencing it. Um, I recommend two cages because it's really easy to take one cage away and clean it without you getting bitten, without the bird feeling threatened kind of thing. Plus, I always think it's good to have two cages just in case. Um, I really like having a backup cage. I always have a backup cage and you never know. And sometimes you really do need to use it. So, um, so there's my techniques and ideas for you. The last idea is you put treats on your hand. You put your hand in the cage if you are comfortable. 
that you're not going to get bitten or put treats um like on a little dish right outside the cage if you're going to get bitten and be there so that the treats get associated with you um, but do something whatever works in your scenario with your parrot so that you equal treats like when you show up treats show up treats are there oh she's there or he's there all every time and that way your parrot starts to have a different experience they will return to a more natural flock mentality um i'm sure there are some exceptions to that but generally speaking they will when you give it a year parrots are highly intelligent so they aren't fooled too easily so it really takes some time for them to acclimate sometimes they change in a day or two sometimes it takes a year so that's why i say be patient and give it a year because you just never know you never know how long it'll take for my parrot to learn that my phone just doesn't taste like anything good all right well um thank you for joining kailani and i in this blissful video i forgot to say she is a catalina macaw and apparently one that is very curious today uh, if you have any questions or comments please be sure to comment below i love reading what you guys say i love hearing about what your experience is or what parrot you're getting and i love sharing my bliss with you thank you for being here i'll catch you in the next feathered video uh, if you're interested in becoming a member of parrot bliss on the youtube membership you can look in the description down below or if you want to do a super thanks, that's always appreciated. Catch you next time. <laughs>